Hey, how's it going? Um, so today I'm going to show you how to select faces on certain objects in Cinema 4D. It's actually really easy and comes in handy all the time. So what we're going to do is start with getting an object. So we're going to grab a landscape object. Ooh, so advanced, so technically advanced here. Um, so we have this object. I'm moving it up in the screen, obviously. Um, and what we're going to do, I don't know if you've noticed this little button in the corner before, but we're going to go ahead and click that. And that means it's editable now. So that's great, awesome, whatever. And then we're going to go to Lab Selection, which is pretty awesome. And then we're going to click this guy, which is Polygons, and makes them really obvious. So also, if you want this little circle guy to be a little bit bigger and be able to actually grab stuff, you just press the bracket keys on your keyboard um, up and down. I'll let you experiment with that because I obviously can't show you from what I'm doing here. Um, so we're gonna rotate it around and be like, all right, I think um, this will look pretty good. Um, holding shift will help you get different sections. So I'm going around, clicking things, woo, -woo, 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 -woo. So freaking easy. It's great. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's happening. Um, and so yeah, like I like to add hair to a lot of things in my practice. So we're going to just go ahead and do that just to demonstrate what the selection really does. So we're going to press shift C um, and type in hair. Add hair. Damn, that looks dope as hell. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to show you a quick way to do that. I don't know if I went too quickly through it. So we could actually just do it again really quick. Um, what I ended up doing was going up here, or I selected an object that I wanted to um, create. Actually, we'll just go ahead and do it again. So say you wanted to do this on a sphere. Let's find a sphere. And we're like, oh, sweet. I'm going to make this a hairy sphere. So go ahead, make editable. And since we're already in the polygon selecting menu or whatever, um, we're good to go. And we have live selection going. And I only want to select this top area. So I'm holding down shift. Oh man, it's pretty sloppy, but we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. So shift C, hair, add hair, enter, voila. So um, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it was sort of helpful. There, this was something that I spent a lot of time like trying to search for um, through the internet and it was uh, pretty difficult. So yeah, thanks again.